Now, before we begin the march, please join me in welcoming to the stage a truly amazing man, Bishop Vincent Matthews of the Church of God in Christ, which is the largest African-American denomination in our country with over 6.5 million members. He's a father of 10 and has an amazing story. And he is gonna talk to you for just a minute about adoption and then he's gonna close us in prayer. We love you. God bless you. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Jeannie. You all look so beautiful. You ought to give yourself a hand for life. Yes. I, I'm here, I'm excited. Before we pray, I'm looking forward to marching. But I stand here as three people, three individual places in my life. Number one, I'm a Christian. I love Jesus. And the only way that we will change the slaughter the same slaughter that sought to kill Moses, the same type of slaughter that sought to kill Jesus is through the power of Jesus Christ. There are a lot of Christophobic people in this nation. Christophobic people who fight against the gospel. They fight against us and tell us to be loving while they want us to kill our children. But enough is enough. Not only am I a Christian, I'm a bishop in a church of God in Christ. And our presiding bishop, Bishop Charles Blake, has sought to mobilize our entire denomination, what many people call a black church, that 12,000 uh, churches to literally be active in pro-life. And I... That's right. And at the, at the direction of our presiding Bishop Charles Blake, our members are lining up to adopt children of women who want to have abortions. You have a choice. We will take your children. And our 12,000 churches are looking to link with pregnancy centers across the nation. Please accept us as we serve you. And finally, I'm a Christian. I'm a part of the Church of God in Christ. But it's obvious, I'm a black man. I, yeah, that's the elephant in the room. Because it is the elephant in the room. Because as you stand here, you are protecting black Americans and Africans around the world. My people are being hunted like animals. People cry for Harambe, but they have no love for us as we're being killed every day. Enough is enough. It's time to rise up. It's our time to save lives. Our lives are being snuffed out and our lives matter. And I believe that even right now, those lives will be born, they will be saved in, from the womb until the tomb, they will be saved, they will be saved from the private prison industrial complex and all of the other things that seek to squash us, we shall be free. Enough is enough, in Jesus' name. Now, let's go march, but before we march, let's say a word of prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. You have brought us here, black people, white people, Latinos and Asians. We are not separate. We are one church. We are one body, one Lord, one faith, one baptism. And I speak even right now, thank you for such an opportunity to fight for the lives of individuals. There was a time that we were seen as less than people. The science said that we were not people but three-fifths of a person. But someone rose up then. And now today we rise up now and say the demonic plot to destroy lives is over because you died that we might have life and that more abundantly. And so we ask that you mobilize us, unify us, and use us to your glory. Thank you for every speaker. Thank you for all that has been said. And Father, we speak even right now, not only in America, but around the world, the slaughter shall end. That abortion will not happen anymore through our efforts. Bless Jeannie, bless the, life, uh, the, the March for Life, Human Coalition, and all others. And we thank you and we give you glory. In Jesus' name, if 
if you agree with that prayer, somebody shout amen. amen.